know some of you are going through some tough situations. I get it. But, but, but today, it, it's a defining moment for you. Aren't you excited to be starting your new business? You know, Bishop was talking about seed faith giving, and I sold another $2,000 today. How's business? Not so good. I haven't sold any houses. I was hoping that I can get an extension. That's not how this works, Jessica. Let's make a deal. You give me 30 minutes of your time, a few times a week, and I'll give you 30 days rent free. Um, Mom, what's the big emergency? Tiffany and Rizzo got evicted and need a place to stay, and I was hoping that they could stay in your rental property. It's not available. We just want to thank you so much for your help and your time. We didn't even know churches did this kind of thing. Unfortunately, Mr. Landry, there's not much that we can do. I was hoping that you could be my mentor. Mentor you? <laughs> not in this lifetime. My members are very, very blessed. I was the one who wanted to be rich. I wanted the material wealth that Bishop preached about. That was me. It's my fault. Oh, now wait a minute, Michael. I can't let you cut me off from God's blessings. I mean, I have to sow a seed in order to receive my harvest. God, I need to know if you're real. I need to know if you hear my prayers. It's not the shepherds that are the problem. It's the stupid sheep that follow. So what we're not going to do is bash the bishop. Oh, you're paying him to pray for you? I don't know. I do everything that he asks me to do. I pray, I fast, I, I serve at the church, I pay my tithes. He just refuses to bless me. Luke chapter 6 is not about the law of prosperity. It's about the law of love. How do we attract money to us, Jesse? Oh, by saying, money come to me now. I wish I could punch you in the face right now. 